Hi, I'm Maria Toso. I run the yoga teacher training program at Minneapolis College. And I want to give you the kind of rundown on what you're signing up for and also how to prepare for it in kind of body, mind, and spirit. Um, first of all, the course is 16 credits. That makes it a certificate course. 13 of those credits are with me and are directly yoga related. And then there's three credits that are like electives. And there's a number of different courses that you can choose to fulfill those last three credits. And I'm gonna put the link to um, Jean, who is the advisor that uh, you can talk to in more detail about signing up and what is required. Um, but the courses for the logistic details, the courses are anatomy, the first six week, uh, eight weeks rather, and a second eight weeks. So in other words, there's one course that runs from the beginning of the semester to the middle of the semester. And then the next course runs from the middle of the semester till the end of the semester. Essentially, those two kind of flow together because they both focus very much on alignment, anatomy, posture, um, and the, both the um, alignment cues and the uh, sort of physiological aspect of yoga and very much how you teach it, very much how you cue or instruct students into the poses. The first eight weeks, we focus quite a bit on making sure that you know how. So there is uh, some practice just to get sure, make sure that, that you have that kind of in your body as an imprint. And that's from where you will be teaching it. And then the second eight weeks, we get deeply into creating a class that's right for you. And you will typically, depending a little bit on the size of the class, you will be teaching a class toward the end of the semester. That's kind of your graduating project from this course. Um, you'll be teaching a class either with one or two other uh, classmates to the public. And that means to students, faculty, friends and family will come to that class. And that's really to get you over the hump of teaching a class in front of a group, which will do lots of practice throughout the 16 weeks that we have together. That course runs Tuesday evening from six until 8.20 and Saturday morning from nine until noon. Um, so that is the anatomy and I'll put the exact um, course number and a little bit more of a descri description uh, down below so you can take a, a closer look at the details. But in terms of when do you have to be there, you have to be there on Tuesday night and Saturday morning for that course. You could choose to take the first eight weeks and then skip the second eight weeks and not take the second eight weeks until the following semester if you wanted to. A few students have opted to do that. Although if you can, I suggest taking it in 16 weeks because then you're with the same cohort and you really do develop some very close friendships and just kind of peership and a very safe container for exploring yourself as a teacher and all of what that entails with standing in front of a group and getting feedback and so forth. Um, the other course that you'll be t taking is uh, the Art of Teaching. And that's on Wednesday night. This is a little bit shorter. It is from 6 until 7.50. And that course uh, will cover things like what are considerations when you teach. So we'll be exploring things like the teacher's role, how might a teacher abuse their role, um, what kind of a teacher do you want to be, how can you be sensitive to um, people having had trauma. I mean, these practices that we learn in yoga, like meditation and deep breathing and various types of breathing um, and all the poses, restorative poses, we'll be getting into somatics as well. All of that brings up your stuff because the stuff that we haven't processed is lodged in the body. So when we begin to work with the body, with the breath and with the, with the mind, um, these things tend to come up for us, but also for our students. So we work with it in ourselves uh, because we're always going to be in a path to working with ourselves that way as yogis. And that, of course, as we work with it, then we develop a greater understanding of what's going on for our students. Why is somebody crying at the end of class? Why is someone who has had a certain type of trauma um, more likely to react? Um, in certain poses, for example. So we learned some sensitivity around that and we'll specifically look at trauma-informed yoga and, and create some practices that 
one could choose to use for that specific purpose. Um, and then the, uh, the final class is called Yoga, the Science of the Mind. I got a lot of kitties running around here, so there you go. Um, and the science of the mind is a combination of really meditation slash relaxation, calming down the nervous system and yoga philosophy. And very specifically, we'll be working with the Yoga Sutras, which is the, the document, if you can call it that, by Patanjali um, that um, you may have heard of, you know, Fringe, or maybe you've uh, studied it. Um, it's where we find the eight limbs of yoga. It's where we find the yamas and niyamas that are all, uh, you could say, guidelines for how to treat others and how to treat ourselves and what are the obstacles we run into as yogi. So we start to work very mindfully with that. Um, the whole training is very practical. It's very much geared toward experiencing. So we're not studying, you could say, the theoretical part of meditation. Like you could, you could have a, a training that really studies the impact of mindfulness, like with brain scans and um, just like how can, you, how can you change your life with mindfulness meditation and look at it more statistically or something. This is the experience. This is actually doing it. This is actually sitting in a group together and exploring different types of meditation in a very real way. Um, and for that, we need to work with our bodies, our posture, and we need to actually sit. So we do that both together and then we will be assigned, there's eight types of meditation that we move through over the course of the 16 weeks. Um, so we have two weeks to work with each type of meditation. Typically, I will guide it the first week and then students will guide it the second week because this is not this is not just a meditation class for you to learn to meditate. It's also for you to learn to teach to meditate or hold space for people that are meditating and guiding meditation. And that's sort of the overarching uh, theme of the whole training is how can you both very much do the practices and incorporate the practices deeply into your own life while also learning how to convey them. And that last class, the Yoga, the Science of the Mind is Saturday afternoon. So um, we have the, the anatomy asana class in the morning hours uh, from nine until uh, noon. No, that's not true. From nine until 11.20. And then we got a 40 minute lunch break. And then at noon uh, to 1.50, we have the um, Yoga, the Science of the Mind, Meditation, Yoga Philosophy class. So the full commitment is Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and Saturday from nine until just before two o'clock. And if you do that, you can, you can take the yoga related courses over the course of 16 weeks. And then you just have to pick um, a three credit class, or maybe you already have some three credit class you could apply toward the 16 credits. That's also a possibility, but feel free to reach out to me and I'll give you more details about what books we're using, um, what is the level of homework and, um, and what else can you expect? It's a deep dive for sure. I can say that for everyone that goes into it, they're a little surprised maybe at what a deep kind of personal growth program it turns out to be when you do these practices together as a group so consistently many times a week. Um, so more rest, um, more mindfulness around how you spend your energy and maybe also how you, you know, what you eat and things like that, you know, might become more sensitive to substances and um, you might just have to kind of cushion yourself a little bit because it does kind of open you up and make you maybe a little bit more raw uh, as you move through the training. And that's of course also what's beautiful. And I, I take a lot of care to create a very, sweet, warm social environment between the students and the class because you are helping each other give birth to the teacher within you. So that's a very gentle, tender process and our stuff comes up and, and we can feel vulnerable in a position of kind of stepping out of our comfort zone. So that loving, warm environment as a group is a big portion of it. And, and you'll be contributing to that if you step into the group, which I hope you'll want to. So reach out and we can talk more.